Little known fact, the secret to never ending gains lies in the contents of your gym bag. Okay, maybe not, but a properly loaded gym bag with all of the essentials is going to help you fly through your workouts more effectively, stay in the zone, and will help you work through some common issues. Today, I'll walk you through mine, and we'll go over some of the things that you should make sure that you have in yours. Darren Starr here once again. Thanks for visiting my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe if you like and introduce yourself in the comments down below. Now, I do tend to carry my life around with me in my gym bag. Maybe a little overprepared, but it's better than the opposite. What is the one item you can't live without in your gym bag? Tell me in the comments below. Now, today I've broken things down into a few categories and I wanna get started with the most important one, Lifting accessories. These are the things designed to make lifting a little bit more comfortable or perhaps easier and give you additional options for exercises. So, lifting straps. Whenever you have to pull or hold a heavy weight for a long period of time, lifting straps ensure that your grip won't be the weak link and you can focus on the target muscles that you're actually trying to hit. This would include almost any exercise for the back as well as deadlifts, Romanian deadlifts, shrugs, etc. Now, I'm not advocating that you avoid training your grip altogether, but don't do it at the expense of another muscle group. A product like VersaGrips also, does the same thing. It's a bit simpler and easier to use. It's also more expensive. Wrist wraps. Uh, now these are intended to be cinched up nice and tight to support the wrist while it's bearing an axial compressive load in the flexed position. Big words, uh, such as on a bench press or shoulder press. So if you feel a little discomfort or instability with the wrist, these will help. Knee wraps. Great for providing support for compound movements like squats or leg press, especially when going heavy. Don't wrap it super tight, just nice and snug so the knee still has to stabilize itself to some degree. These are far more effective than sleeves typically. Ankle cuffs. Some gyms have these, but seriously, this is not an item you want to be sharing with tons of people. Gross. Uh, this wraps around your ankle and allows you to clip into a cable system for things like glute kickbacks, hamstring curls, adductor and abductor work as well. And a belt. Now, I'm not a big fan or an advocate of a lifting belt in most situations, but a quality belt does have its uses, especially for anyone who's experienced a back issue previously. That being said, it's really just a device that helps you to cue and control your breathing and you can accomplish much of that without using the belt. Electronics, a dangerous category. We don't want to be distracted, but we do want to have some creature comforts with us, such as a music player. I highly recommend a music player other than your primary phone, like this old phone for me that has no cellular data service. Throw your phone into the bottom of your bag and lose it for the duration of your workout. A separate music player will allow you to shift gears musically during your workout without being distracted by notifications or pop-ups on your primary phone. Headphones. Uh, I recommend Bluetooth headphones so you don't have to keep your music player in your pocket and the lack of a cord also keeps a very common physical distraction out of the way. How many times have you caught a dumbbell on your headphone cord mid rep? Or is that just me? Happened all the time. I prefer the huge over the ear cans simply because my gym plays really loud music and the earbuds just cannot drown it out effectively. Um, Next, backup wired headphones. In case your Bluetooth set loses its charge mid-workout, keep a backup wired pair of headphones to A, prevent you from having to listen to the gym's horrible music, and B, to keep random people from thinking it's okay to come up and talk to you. <laughs> Lastly, heart rate monitor, Fitbit, etc. I don't wear one of these because when I'm lifting, I could care less how many calories I burn, but I know it's a curiosity a lot of people like to work with, and I won't stop you. Next category, food, drink, supplements. Now clearly, you don't need to pack your entire kitchen with you, but a few things will help keep you performing optimally. Pre-workout, this is optional. I take one, I load up my bag first thing in the morning, so I throw a shaker cup with my pre-workout in there and chug it on the way to the gym. Uh, intro workout fluids, get a gallon jug and fill it up with 40 to 60 ounces of water and throw in your intro workout supplement cocktail, maybe just some glutamine and creatine, BCAAs, perhaps some carbs, depending on what phase of your diet you're in as well. Post-workout meal, now I recommend taking this with you so you don't have to come home immediately after lifting and you can start chowing down or chugging your shake immediately. If you need a microwave to warm something up, just get friendly with the gym staff and if they don't have one that's available for public use, see if they'll let you use the one that they have available for employees. Now, please, for the love of God, don't be that dude who carries his five pound tub of protein around in his gym bag. Throw your two scoops or whatever in a dry shaker cup, take that, add water, and leave the big stuff at home. And a few extra things, a couple other little things that round out the goodies that I consider essential. First, a towel. Seriously, do everyone else in your gym a giant favor and always bring a towel with you. Failing that, wipe down your benches after you're done to prevent other people in the gym from wanting to throw up. Everyone's there to 
to work hard and get a little dirty, but in that context, be as clean as you can be. A logbook. Bodybuilding is all about progressive overload, so logging your sessions in detail is definitely a good habit to get into. Um, I certainly prefer a pen and paper approach rather than using an app to allow me to track whatever additional variables that I think are appropriate. Uh, Eye protection for the tanning bed, clearly a seasonal thing for me, as you can tell by my ghostly white appearance here. And uh, most importantly, a tape measure. This is obviously the most important thing in your bag, and this is to measure your post-workout pump and help you determine if it's safe to call your workout over. If you've measured those guns before at 19 inches before, and now they're only 18 and a half, clearly get back into the gym. You've got more work to do. Well, after seeing what I carry around every day, hopefully you've either been convinced of how essential it is to carry a gym bag with you in the first place, or you've picked up a few ideas of things that you can add to yours. Now, did I miss anything? Leave it in the comments below. Uh, I certainly appreciate you watching. If you've made it this far, kudos to you. I have a special prize for you. If you've learned something here, hit the thumbs up button and share this video with your friends. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.